Jesse's nitpicking has already knocked the couple off course. After an incident en route at Sydney Airport, in which Jesse told his new wife to shush. First day, well, I mean, obviously, this is obviously episode two of um, Maori First Out Australia, but uh, it's their first day meeting. They just got married and they're obviously now on their journey to their vacation. And my man has already told her to shush. Talk about having no respect for your spouse. Talk about having no patience to learn about who she is. And also talk about not having the decency to have a good communication with your spouse. I mean, why go on a show to get married to someone and then not have the audacity or the or have the yeah, the audacity to give her the benefit of the doubt before you start to judge her, before you start to tell her, well, well yeah, just before you tell her the truth, basically, in a nutshell, isn't it? But here's the thing, though. Let me just play some more real quick. Jesse actually shushed me a couple of times today, and I did not like being shushed. The fact is, nobody, nobody likes to be shush. I mean, there's polite ways to tell someone to be quiet. There's polite ways to say to someone, hey man, relax, chill, you know what I mean? But to tell someone to shush, someone who you don't even know, the madness. Now, when it comes to Jesse, and here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, I have reacted to the full episode on my Patreon account. Link is down below in the description if you want to see the full video of obviously what went down on episode two. But um, little, just to give you a little, little background of what's gone, so, gone on so far, Jesse is someone that has a nitpicking issue. He has a very ridiculous standard. And uh, one of the things he doesn't like from a woman is a woman that talks about star signs and she's very much into star signs. <laughs> and, you know, obviously he said that once she kind of started speaking about star signs, the moment that he knew his nitpicking was going to jump on board. But then at the same time, he also said that because she's good looking, he's going to give it a chance. Which is the most bizarre thing to say, but okay, cool. So imagine 24 hours later on, he's now telling her to shush. The, the, the problem that these two both have is that communication has already been weak as hell. But um, let me show you a little bit more. I just feel like I want to know so much about you. Do you think I talk too much? Um, no, I don't think it's a question of whether you talk too much. Maybe it's a question of perhaps you feel like you need to say something in, in a lot of moments where... Listen, man, there's a lot of people in this world that, that love to just talk. They just can't be quiet. They've always got something to say, and I won't lie to you. I'm not a fan of people that always have something to say. I like people to just be quiet sometimes. Just to, just allow the mood to be peaceful. But she did say that she's just trying to get to know him. And that's why she's asking so many things. And obviously his issue is that she's too loud. She was too loud at the airport. Okay, so maybe someone doesn't like attention in his direction. That is fair. But again, it's a matter of how you say it. How you direct yourself. How you say to that person, hey, let me just dumb it down a little bit. You know what I mean? That's if it's a big issue. Listen. To be honest with you, I'm the kind of person that will allow the situation just to marinate a little bit, just to see, obviously, how, who this person is, how they are, you know what I mean? And then, obviously, at some point, I'll say to them, hey, man, I've noticed, da, 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 you know what I mean? Because I like to have things in a conversation format, not in a format of, I'm going to tell you off, or I'm trying to control you or change you. No, 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 no. I'm just expressing that. Have you ever noticed that you're a bit loud sometimes, you know what I mean? Especially in public, da, 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 da. And then you just see where the conversation goes. You vibe off it properly. I'm not saying my way is the right way, but it's worked for me, you know what I mean? And I've never had a repercussion of what this guy's going through right now because the way he's gone about it is absolute douchebaggy. But at the end of the day, telling someone to shush who you don't even know is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely senior. Um, but let me show you a little bit more. Uh, what do you mean by that? I know that I can be quiet at times. I should just watch that up. Uh, what do you mean by that? I know that I can be quiet at times. I think the main thing from my end in response to that is maybe nothing needs to be said in, in those times and, and the silence can you know what i mean mm, do i like okay like maybe you don't i think claire can sometimes become unaware of how loud she's speaking end of the day it's not really about it's the issue isn't about claire being unaware of how loud she's speaking the issue is that you told her to shush and you didn't speak to her properly you didn't direct her direct her, you, you didn't have a conversation with her do you know what i mean but at the end of the day, if her character is someone who's outspoken or someone that speaks very loud, that's who she is. It's as simple as one, two, three. You shouldn't be looking to want to change that out of someone. You know what I mean? Like you can have a conversation and let them know that sometimes their tone can maybe feel uncomfortable in public situations. You can let, definitely let it be known. 
but to tell someone to shush. And imagine if the people around who he was so paranoid about listening to her talking so loud, imagine they heard him say shush to her. Even if he was like, shh, someone could still hear you. If someone heard you do that, that's far worse than whatever she was trying to say. Because by the sounds of it, she was just trying to have a conversation with her new man, with her new spouse. She was just trying to get to know you. And you could have just, hmm. But hey, man, ladies and gentlemen, when there's no good communication in a relationship, this is what happens, calamity. But hey, like I said before, I have reacted to the full episode on my Patreon account. Reason why I do it on Patreon rather than YouTube, because on Patreon, I have no issues with copyright. And of course, I can just let the video play. Obviously, I'm watching it. And obviously, you're watching it with me. You're going to understand, okay? Um, but anyway, with that being said, though, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and make sure you leave a comment. Well, we're done. We're out. And peace. Thank you.